Oh, dit is wat dictatoons, hè? Ja. Dit is de first CD player. Oh, which one? This one. So this was the very first CD player. The type CD 100, my friends, is the very first CD player. And uh, out of 1983, 1983, the price was 2000, <laughs> 2500 guilders, my friends. That was a lot of money, <laughs> unbelievable. You can put the disc here. But for 1983, it is a beautiful device. If you see it yeah. like this, beautiful piece of. Uh, design, I think. This one was also a CD player, but this design was much cheaper looking. It is metal, I see, but yeah. This is the follow-up. So this was the second, the second CD player they made. Probably the second. A little bit bigger to give it yeah. a more serious. Look, the bigger people think is better, you know, that's not always true, of course. But yeah. And it still works, eh? A cassette adapter. What is a Just a cassette deck player. Adapter. For in the car, I think. Oh, for in the car! Yes! Yeah, my friends, what's this? <laughs> Car cassette player, so... Yeah. So later they developed the 8-track, uh, uh, also for in the cars. And these are 8-track cassettes. Yeah, my father had an 8-track at a certain moment, not sure. Okay, there are people over there, so we go here. Hey, you have some people inside, like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it is a nice weather to visit the museum. And uh, so, if it, uh, to be honest with you, I'm very honest with you now. Uh, everybody knows what is the Louvre. Everybody knows what paintings are hanging in the Louvre. These are paintings. Uh, you have to be a, a billionaire to 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 buy some paintings over there. So expensive. Yeah, yeah. But I, th I I will tell you something. I I have more fun in this museum than if I would be in the Louvre, my friends. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. But I'm an I'm not a painting lover. No, yeah. but there's so much to see. Uh... Yeah. Okay, it is not a big. The Louvre is immense big. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if you, I mean, if you, and I know that for the Mona Lisa, some people are, are standing for two hours watching this Mona Lisa. But for me, uh, I would take a look, maximum one minute, and not even one minute because. I do not, for me it's not interesting, you know, but this stuff is interesting for me. This stuff, I can be a whole day for in this, in this, in this, in this, in this museum. What you can see is that there are so many uh, designs, uh, different styles of design. Yeah. Depending on the time they But also in that time you could recognize the Italian style. The Italian style was more kits. And French style, eh? the French and Italian style was more kids, and the German style was already in the 30s, like like the Dutch style. No, the Dutch style was, I think, between the kids and the German style, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Aristona, Philips. Hey, this is nice. This is nice. Lenko. Yeah, that, that is this is nice. That is typically 1970s. Oh yeah. No, this is nice in a six. If you have a 60s interior, this is very, good, very nice, my friends. Even if you don't play it. This was the for teenagers. Yeah, yeah. Who had their first This, this is what we could pay. We could not, I, I mean, I wanted to have this one, yeah? 
Yeah. I was 12, 13 years yeah. old. I, wa I was in yeah. for this, but I could not pay, pay it. I didn't have money. So we went for stuff like this. This is what we bought. It was cheaper. We could afford this. Yeah. Well, children from rich parents. I, I had a friend, and his father was a. Uh, well, he had money, and he had a complete mindset. But you know, my father had a good job. Yeah, my father had a good job, but he. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. I wouldn't dare to ask him, Papa, can you buy him an uh, amplifier for me? No, no, no. Now I was 13. 13, you cannot work. We didn't work at 13. No, not a big job, but newspapers. So this thing is all in one. All in one. Philips loved that. To make this all in one products. And what? Okay, this is plexiglass. That is a special radio. This doesn't need a battery to, to play. It doesn't need batteries? No? You can wind this up. This, this works on, uh, on uh, a feather, feather, on, yeah. On a spring feather. So you, you don't need batteries, not electricity. You just, okay, I understand. And then you, yeah. Okay. I have the ID. And no, do, do, do not turn it on. I understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it plays okay. a while, as long as the. And it plays a while. As long as it rotates. <laughs> so you, you have spring to wind it up. And, and it works like. Uh, a generator for, but, uh, shall I, shall for a light on, on your bicycle. But shall I tell you, I'm not sure which year it was, but these days you have still some parts in Africa where there is no electricity and people have to wind the electricity to get some light or some sound. Yeah, usually it's, it's, yeah. It, it, the same principle was used for a light. For yeah, yeah. Battery, battery uh, principle. I discovered that they only have one of the speakers I came for. So they already sold a few years ago those uh, Magnat Vintage 990. They are those monster speakers from 250 kilo each. And this is what they still have. And what I discovered is that um, it is not a 150 kilohertz, but you can read over here, a tweeter, but a 100, no, 100 kHz and it starts with 5 kHz. So these babies go very, very low, starting with 5 Hz. 5 Hz is unbelievable, my friends. And they have a consumption of 120 watts. So probably this is a amplifier. It looks very massive. I do not see a weight, but these babies uh, are very heavy, as you can see. The filter, <laughs> never see. These thick copper wires on the filter, never in my life. And over there on the back, I think it's an amplifier. And to be honest, I will never want, I would never want this stuff in my living room. No, no, I do not, I do not, I don't think, I, I think they are too big, too big for for my small living room. And uh, so if, if, it's, if this guy, offered me these speakers. I know they have a value from two, two and a half thousand at the moment, if you can find them. <laughs> a pair like this, you can find in the, on the European market one times in five years. So I'm talking about the Magnat Plasma MP01. MP01, yeah. So one in five years you can find a pair like this for about two and a half thousand euro. Uh, with the most beautiful high notes you ever heard. Would I ever want this in my house? No. Too heavy, too big for my small living room. But it is impressive to see them from close, yeah? Over here in the middle we see some Philips speakers. 
the, the sound of Philips was beautiful, my friends. And right on top of that Philips, we <laughs> watch this, my friends. Unbelievable. The Marat 2385. The Marat 4400. John Direct have two of these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. The Marat 2250. The Marat 2250. The SR 2000. Unbelievable. This is a picture, my friends. This is a beautiful picture. And <laughs> over there, they're spending a black and white video. <laughs> over here, we have some older stuff. I have, no, I had this in my, no, I had the 1020. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. The 1040. <laughs> the Akai AS980. Unbelievable, unbelievable. What a machine. What a machine. is on on but the power is, is not working it is working but oh <laughs> it doesn't have electricity yeah. and I'm not sure if I can touch things in here what well, is what is this this is of course yeah this is Luxman this is straight away you recognize Luxman this I do not recognize Scott Scott Digital tuner, so oh, this is just a tuner. GVC, Japan Victor Company. What do you see over here? Oh, what is this? This is a tuner? No, it is a four channel receiver. So this is the tuner. Not sure what this is. But it looks impressive, eh? This one I know, this is a GVC quadraphonic four channel receiver with the matching tuner. Over here a complete Pioneer set. The 606. And over here we have a laboratory stereo power amplifier Super A from GVC. I never knew that GVC had amplifiers like this with two big VU meters. They are very rare because I never saw one before in my life. So the the M750 that is. Yeah. And here we have the SA7500. I had this one myself. We have a tape deck over here. Here we have. I'm well, not sure what is this. Mm -hmm. A meridian power amplifier. Well, for me it is not sure what it is, but and what period it comes from. Sony, of course. The Sony TA11 was a monster. Beautiful amplifier. Yeah. Here we have the cheapest stuff from around the SR3000. Turntable. No, turntable. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, the cassette deck is a 3000. The amplifier is the 100 and the tuner is the 300 and for the rest you see over here some some tuners but this thing looks interesting beautiful beautiful device it is from Schaub Lorenz Schaub Lorenz this is the brand yeah music center beautiful beautiful and in those days, you know, they did French polish. So they get this, this shiny stuff by polish it by the hand. Well, maybe in the factory, not sure how they got it this shiny. But beautiful, 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 beautiful. 
so this is the full I not I don't see a brand full stereo four four plus not sure what it is but they have two of them they have two of them exactly the same only the knobs are a little bit different one is original of course and one they change the knobs and what we have over here well over here we have ear tape decks yeah this is the stuff what is for me not that interesting to see yeah because they have another department over there but that will be next video my friends because otherwise it will take too long over here we have bno 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 stuff and things things like that and but we go on on this side well this side is the same as 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 uh, uh, the, the museum will close the museum will close soon i still have 10 minutes time and uh, that that's why i'm telling you if you if you go to this museum come at one o'clock yeah because you need all these three hours if you are a serious audio lover to to see everything i i already see that i have to come back one time this yeah i, I talked too much with these guys before i entered this because i thought okay one hour is enough one hour filming is enough but i discovered that i needed more time so i will come back eventually i will come back for a second time it's close to my house it is beautiful 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 my friends unbelievable this museum i did not expect that i needed so much time to film but that's that's because those pieces some of those pieces really intrigued me and uh, yeah see all that wall is completely filled with this oh this is a beauty wow 1950 excelsior snr excelsior beautiful it looks like a renaissance tube radio beautiful beautiful i think it's italian only italians can make a tuner like this or french grand yeah this is french grandes on this petite on this this is french <laughs> the french style my friends the designers french designs Unbelievable. Yeah, I found it always nice when people look at it. Oh, 1940. Philips, what's this, my friends? A monster. A monster. The monster from 1940. Well, if you if you are in for for real monsters, forget Loch Ness. For, for God, forget Loch Ness because you will never see the monster. But if you come to Rotterdam, you see the real monster. And this is the real monster. <laughs> 1940. And it is true, it exists. The monster really exists. Beautiful, my friends. It is. You you have eyes okay. short. And of course, of course, after you listen your favorite tune, you open the door and there's your favorite booze. <laughs> This thing, I mean, houses were small in those days. And a machine like this take half the room. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is the Akai 646. John the Red just bought one. I saw it on his, <laughs> the lucky guy, I saw on his Facebook that he just scored one at 464 or 646 and these are beautiful but the most beautiful decks in all on this <laughs> oh my god this one the 
Sky, no, the Technics. The Technics, what is it? The Four Track 1506. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful. And uh, here we have the Grundig. Beautiful. Akai, Sony. And this is a beauty. This the Akai with the four VU meters. Akai 2202D. It's a rare thing. A quadraphonic one, I think. And here we have some smaller ones. Beautiful. And this one is one of the most popular uh, reel to reel decks at the moment. This small. Akai, Akai 77, because it fits nice with the complete set if you have the amplifier and tuner. Same counts for this one, that Philips, the small Philips. Now, this, this size is very popular at the moment. Uh, this is the 747. This is one, one of the most, the best Real to real decks ever made, the 747. I saw one before in that house where I scored the Toshiba or not the Yamaha SX950 and the 1250. The guy also had this one, but he didn't want to sell it to me. No, no, it was a pity. Uh, this one, I do not know what it is, never saw it before. This is a, I'm not sure what brand it is, Do Corder. It looks impressive, but if it is quality, I'm not sure, I can't tell you. Below they have a Philips. Over here you see a, also a Philips. And this is of course a four spore deck, the 630 DSS. I have the 630 DB, but my, own, my only have two two VU meters. I have, I have three of them. Mm, over there, the little more little ones. The Tanberg TD20, everybody knows that Tanberg made some exceptional quality. It is just beautiful, my friends. What? <laughs> and then this thing, yeah, the Akai. The 646, this thing is still affordable. You can still buy this the price is not that high i mean that 747 is over 2000 euro it's already too much for most of us hey what do you have here well guys i'm walking back i'm walking back it was a very nice afternoon I think that uh, uh, one hour is too short. You need minimum two hours. If you come here, take your time. And if you don't manage it to see everything, come back another time. Understand? Because it is worth visiting this museum. For, for me, it is. For an audio lover, it, it, it is. I think every audio lover, if you live close, you will not regret coming here, believe me, believe me, my friends. It is a beautiful, beautiful museum, and uh, I think I've, I've, I have to come another time, because time is up, it's almost 4 o'clock, and these guys, these are all volunteers. <laughs> these guys want to go home to their, to their family, so I have to shut down, my friends, and that's a pity. I hope... You like this video from what I showed you today, those those uh, real to real decks. They do not have everything, you know, but uh, all in all, if you see the complete, the complete, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> the turntables, the collection turntables, the collection uh, real to real decks, the, uh, well, what's that? That, 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 that cabinet over there, this cabinet over there, all those table radios on the back wall, um, those that Marantz collection, that beautiful Marantz collection, those those monster magnat plasma speakers. I mean, 
there is too much in this museum to I cannot say them all, you know, I mean, I saw, I'm very happy that the, those, those uh, suitcase uh, uh, record players over there, turntables, I mean, there is too much over here in this beautiful museum to, to say in one word or in one sentence, you have to come for yourself, my friends, yes? Well, by this, I want to thank you for watching this video. Put the thumbs up if you like it. And for now I say ciao ciao.